G'day, Finn Roo here, how you doing? I've um, just about to start uh, mashing in uh, for the overnight mash with the uh, um, chocolate milk porter, um, which the recipe was kindly emailed to me by a subscriber by the name of Scud Baxter, so I really appreciate it. And he went to a lot of trouble to give me a lot of notes and, and you know, um, yeah, so I've got a lot of information there. Um, so what I've ended, I've got, when I've got my grains, um, and what the grain bill is for this uh, chocolate milk porter is uh, the way that I've sort of winged it is uh, two, uh, two and a half kg of American two row. Uh, I've, got, I've put 700 grams of Munich, uh, 450 grams of uh, crystal 40, 450 grams of crystal 80. Uh, I've got 340 grams of light chocolate and I've got, it says here black malt, so the, according to the, according to the uh, Gladfield uh, malt book, um, the dark chocolate in the range is the same as the black malt. So I've gone with uh, I've gone with 230 um, grams of black malt. But I've, I did tweak it a little bit because uh, I'm going to omit some uh, one of the other non-fermentable grains, um, and I'm going to put in um, 200 grams of roast wheat malt. Um, but that, apart from that, everything else is the same. Um, well, nearly everything else. I bought some Willamette, Willamette um, hops, um, but I'm going to use um, uh, Mo, Mo Terry hops um, with a Willamette because uh, I've got still got plenty of those. And um, so he suggested using uh, East Kent Golding and Willamette, but um, I'm going to go for um, yeah, as I said. Um, Moteri and Willamette, so, uh, and the, the hot bill will be, um, and it, which it lands right in the uh, uh, four point uh, thirty. What are you, Rue, What are you barking at, Rue? Yeah. Um, struggling a bit here today. Um, yeah, so we got two hundred grams of um, Moteri at. Um, I'll put that in it. I'll actually put it in a first word. I'll be doing an 80 minute boil. Um, 25 grams of Willamette at 30. Well, I pushed it forward to, I'm going to push it forward to 20 minutes. And then um, 25 grams again of Willamette at 15 minutes. Uh, 25 grams of um, Moteri at flame out. And 25 grams of Willamette at flame out. It's a fairly substantial um, grain and hot bill. Um, also, what I've been using, and I haven't used before, is um, lactose. I've got some lactose today. Never used it before in a brew, so I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, heard good things about it, so this is a great opportunity. Uh, also, um, cocoa. Cocoa powder. Um, here. So, cocoa powder, I'm putting uh, 226 grams in. And... Um, I'll be dissolving that towards the end of the boil and then adding it in. Um, it was mal maltodextrin that I'm leaving out, okay, so I'm not putting that in. Um, so there's that. What else? I uh, also bought some spray malt, um, thinking about doing, I want to do a starter for this one. Uh, so that's basically the, um, I'm going to put in some calcium carbonate, uh, three grams of calcium carbonate in the mash, five grams of calcium chloride in the mash, and five grams of gypsum, which is calcium sulfate in the mash. Yeah. Maybe there'll be, um, yeah, that's good. 227 grams, I think it is, of um, lactose. So um, I have to go back up, check, double check everything. I also did a water report. Did our local water report and did the uh, calculations for um, for my water profile. So I think I'm all set. Um, I think I'm all set. Uh, first time I'm using my um, my new my uh, hot liquor tank, which I paid forty dollars for off my neighbour. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And I'll set up a hose on it, and I'm going to be underleating um, my mesh, um, and then I'll be able to. Um, Everything's going to be, and then running down here into the boil pot, which is down here, all uh, gravity fed, and then I'll be able to uh, down here. I'll have my um, uh, fermenting vessel, and I'll be able to um, 
siphon water siphon it straight into the air. So um, it's a big game changer for me because uh, it, with my fatigue, <coughs> uh, my brew days are quite taxing on me, and um, I won't have to lift anything at all. The only thing I will have to lift um, for the brewing is the fermenting vessel up into the um, fermenting fridge. So that's that's going to be a huge help for me. So I'm really looking forward to um, not getting so naked. So yeah, and then taking a few days to recover. Hopefully, I'll better just come in here. Uh, get a, um, I'm going to get a, uh, a hose, a food grade hose, and I'll be connecting it to the tap outside. I'll be able to just turn the hose tap on and fill up the um, hot liquor tank. Um, yeah, so no lifting. So really good. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, chocolate milk uh, chocolate milk porter. Um, yeah, it's going to be good. So um, I'll let you go, and I'll get started on it. And um, I might call and do another video tomorrow. So cheers. Take care.